Hey guys, welcome back to Age of Empires 2. Got something a, a little bit different today. I recently discovered the, I think it's called the, the Blacksmith at Age of Kings Heaven, which is like, it's a website that has a massive storage of um, various custom made maps and scenarios and things like that, mostly of the single player variety, but also some multiplayer stuff. And I decided I just wanted to try a few out, so I thought it'd be pretty interesting to to look back at some of these really old maps. This particular map was made in 2001, so I think it's going to be pretty interesting to to look back at it and uh, see what kind of maps people were making back then. Because I was I was literally just a little kid when this map was made, which is a bit of an odd thought. Um, one big thing to notice is that I'm actually playing on the Age of Kings version which means that there is no widescreen support, it's going to be like a box this video. And sometimes when I make videos on uh, old scenarios like this, it's, you know, I can't do the widescreen thing because although there is a, a widescreen mod for the uh, the Conqueror's expansion, we're not even on the Conqueror's expansion, this is literally the original Age of Kings game. So, I guess I'll get straight into it. This map is called the, I think it's called the Fabulous and Fun Adventures of Robin Hood, although it's called just, just playing the Adventures of Robin Hood here. I chose it at random from the, uh, from the Blacksmith website because I wanted to try something that's just representative. I didn't want to like go out of my way to get a video that's like exceptionally good. I, I just wanted to try something that's average. And I think that's basically what we're going to get from this map. So, the Adventures of Robin Hood, the Dark Ages are past and England is in a state of power and rebirth. However, deep in the Sherwood Forest, one man is not happy, for his king, King Richard the Lionhearted, is away on the Crusades, and he has left his incompetent brother, King John, to rule over Nottingham. John and the Sheriff now rule the town, which is in a constant state of terror and poverty. It is up to Robin Hood and his merry men to save Nottingham, steal from the rich, and give to the cheerleaders. I mean, poor. Okay. The people of Nottingham are too frightened to offer any resistance, but other villages and outposts around the forest support you, and rally to the cause under the leadership of Friar Tuck. Your first move should be to reach him in the village in the east, where he and his men will join you, then head to Nottingham uh, to kill the evil sheriff. Then, once Nottingham is free, find the stockpile of riches John has stolen and bring them back to the people. I guess these are the main missions. Recruit Fire Tuck and his mercenaries to the east. Eliminate the sheriff and his guards. Return the gold relics to the town monastery. Um, scenarios made by someone called Braggy Bird. The hints are to use your scouts. Rely on your instincts. I, I don't feel like that's the most useful advice because I've actually tried this map before I made this recording. And I did rely on my instinct and I died because this map has a few questionable triggers where if you kind of go off the beaten path a bit, it kind of unleashes a massive army on you that you can't beat or you can beat but then you don't have enough units left to actually take Nottingham because you don't get villagers on this map. It's just a, a fairly simple map. Uh, make sure Robin Hood doesn't die. You can never get rid of a bad temper by losing it. When you reach the farm, Robin Hood is the only person who can convince the farmer to help. The yellow are your enemies. Avoid confrontations if possible. History section. Historians disagree whether the tale of Robin Hood is true or merely an urban legend of the 13th century. However, I think it's pretty obvious the whole thing is a lie. For starters, animals can't talk or wear clothes, let alone shoot bows and arrows or siege castles. So, I'm guessing he's just talking about the Disney film, which is actually a pretty decent film, I have to say. I quite like that film. What the hell? Oh, they're really they're the uh, the AI is really trying to become my enemy, but because the triggers are active, they instantly turn back to um, ally or enemy or whatever they're supposed to be. Enjoy the scenario and remember not to take it too seriously. But yeah, like I said, there's a bit of a, a bit of a dirty trick on this scenario, which is if you stray off the uh, the beaten path, there's uh, this weird trigger where you end up. You end up like there's this palisade wall that keeps uh, keeps a massive yellow army in place. And if you're really unlucky, and you stroll into there by accident, you stroll into the area, then the palisade wall gets deleted automatically and this massive army comes out, and that's what screwed me over the first time I played this, so I haven't completed this map, and it's mostly going to be new to me, I actually need to gather everyone together. So I'm going to give it a little bit of background context to how I decided to, to play this map because there is a lot of waiting that's going to be happening in a moment. Here's the part I'm talking about. So you can see here that there are two yellow flags and two teal tags uh, flags. And what I basically did was I went south here for no apparent reason. I think I don't even remember actually telling him to go south. I think I just randomly clicked on the map. And if you go too far past those yellow flags, um, this big yellow army comes out and uh, just kind of trails up the path and destroys this area. And uh, I guess you could try and ignore that army if you wanted to, but I'm, I'm not sure it would work out because I think you have to come back through here later on anyway when you're bringing the, uh, the stolen treasure back. 
So we carry on down this path where we should meet Friar Tuck. Let's just check the... Bring back the stolen gold, kill the sheriff, recruit mercenaries, ignore the fact the objectives are not in the right order. Okay. Uh, right, so we go find Friar Tuck, who should be just down here and should have some nice units for us to recruit. I do kind of know what I'm doing just because I had tried this once before. Good day, messenger of Robin Hood. Me and me mates can give you a hand in liberating Nottingham from the evil sheriff. Right, so we'll bring everyone together and bring them back to the original base, at which point we'll have to go west instead. But yeah, it's going to take a little while to, uh, to march all these guys back to the base. Um, so I'm just going to talk a bit about the website. Basically, the way I ended up finding this website was I was looking for uh, custom maps for um, the game, the Heroes of Might and Magic games. And I found some really interesting custom maps that I thought I'd love to try on this channel. Let's kill this wolf before he does any damage. Too late, but no biggie. Yeah, I was finding a lot of really interesting custom maps on various websites and things, and I thought I'd really like to play some of these on my channel. And then as I was looking through these, I kind of had a thought that surely there's an equivalent for Age of Empires 2, which there is. It's the, uh, the I think it's called the Heaven Games Blacksmith. Um, and there's a lot of really interesting scenarios on there. Obviously scenarios have been a thing on my channel for quite a long time. I've been kind of doing scenarios for as long as I've um, been doing videos in general, but uh, so thus far I've mainly focused on multiplayer scenarios. I didn't really feel like doing any multiplayer today, so I decided to, uh, to try, try something single player instead. But I didn't really feel like doing a random map either, so that's another thing that kind of led me to find this. I considered whether to do a custom campaign. Um, because I've heard really good things about some of the custom campaigns for this game. I think there's one called uh, Tamerlane Prince of Destruction or something like that. That is a, a very popular map, a very popular series of maps uh, custom made for this game. I think that's also from the early 2000s or around that time. Um, but I didn't want to commit to something that big just yet, so I'm going to play this just standalone scenario. Let's kill this archer. Right, it doesn't matter too much, as long as we don't use a unit, as long as we don't lose a unit, we can heal them back up using our, uh, using our monk, who is not currently moving. So we'll shuffle him down to the west of the map. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to try something that's just fairly representative. I don't really like, when I find a new resource or something, I don't really like to go straight in with the, like, the best that that resource has to offer. I kind of prefer to just try something at random, so what I did to find this map was I, I clicked on a random page. And uh, I've downloaded a random scenario, which was, well, I think I just saw the title Fabulous and Fun Adventures of Robin Hood, and I thought, that's probably laid back enough that I won't screw it up too badly, although I did the first time I played it. I went down south of the flags and got wiped out. Um, but, yeah, I, I think there are some really, really good maps on there, um, so I'm quite keen to kind of try experiment with a bunch of them and uh, see which ones are fun and which ones are good. So I think I'll be doing more videos like this in future, and... Uh, I just kind of wanted to do this video just as a, a representative example because, um, like, if, if you don't particularly like this map, and I, I don't think this map is amazing, but it's just kind of cool that there are literally thousands, thousands of maps on this website. So, like, there's just endless possibilities, pretty much, and I, I'm quite keen to explore it. I think it's quite, it's quite interesting in a kind of historical way. Okay, so I think everyone's just about met up now. I do know what happens here. If we actually go west, I didn't realize this the first time I played this, but I realized it because I died. If you go west around this mountain, I'm not sure if it's a hidden path or not, or if we're already going straight towards it. But there's another group of mercenaries who are going to join us just along here somewhere. I'm not sure why the units are struggling so much to head in that direction. They're just about managing now. Let's actually not bother with that. Let's just send the scout straight forward to ignore the wolf. Look for these other units who I think are around here. Hello, messenger of Robin Hood. Welcome to this outpost. That's, oh, it's already dead. That's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll join your quest, and we can give you flaming arrows. That's great. Um, I'm not seeing any extra attack, to be honest, but sure. Grab them, and we'll move them up. So I think we have a decent enough army now to take on Nottingham. We also have to go look for the farmer, who I believe will give us a transport ship. I'm not sure if we need that to actually attack Nottingham or not, but we'll go and have a look for him anyhow. Uh, there should be some way to get to him. I definitely remember that he's around here somewhere. Possibly we have to go down here. 
When we see the uh, the green flags, that means we're heading towards Nottingham, I think. So that should be fine. Uh, we've left everyone behind. Left no one behind, I mean. Yeah, no one's been left behind, so we've got the full army here. I think this is the best chance we're going to stand to take on the Sheriff of Nottingham's army. But yeah, if you guys know of any like really great maps, uh, custom maps, I wouldn't mind trying them. I mean, it depends if I have the time, of course, that's the main constraint in general, but I'm definitely going to keep experimenting with these various uh, scenarios and things. I think it could be pretty interesting. Right, I swear there's supposed to be a farmer somewhere. I'm, I'm really confused. I want to find him just in case we do need him. There's definitely a farmer somewhere. I think he's... There's a river somewhere. I'll send the scout ahead, and we'll move the main bulk of the army. Shuffle them along slowly. Uh, Robin Hood has been left behind. Probably don't want to do that. It looks like the scout itself is trapped as well. Okay, it looks like we've already made it to Nottingham. Okay, I guess we're not going to uh, see that see that farmer after all. Oh crap, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Right. One thing I do know is that he's going to have at least a couple of knights, so I think we're going to want to uh, to use these monks to convert them if possible before they get killed, and that should increase our chance of winning this fight. Uh, everyone else, I think, I'm just going to patrol them in slowly. I'm not sure what that means by 2.30, I think it must be one of those custom... Uh, one of those custom um, taunts that I don't have. Alright, let's try this out, let's patrol into the area, and I think we should be seeing the Sheriff's Army in just a moment. Yeah, there's some right there. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, there's a knight. Let's try and convert that right away. And there should be another one. There's one there, yep. Don't want to fight the pikemen. Are we converting them? No? I can't believe that. Okay, um, that took a lot longer than I thought. But we seem to be taking the fight pretty easily, and... That was a lot less resistance than I thought, so maybe we've just not seen all of them yet, or maybe, maybe not fighting that extra army is pretty much the key to uh, key to winning this map handily. I'm not sure what's going to happen yet. We'll walk into here. There's uh, a longbowman, and there's the sheriff. So let's take him out. Uh, where are my monks? One. Right, let's go and kill this scorpion. And the monk. Do we manage to convert anyone? I can't tell. We got one. We got one, so that's good. Sheriff, where's the sheriff? Is he dead? He's there, is he? No, it's a champion. Sheriff of Nottingham. Ah, I die, but you'll never. F What's that? I didn't see that. Uh, I didn't read that. Okay, I guess if you if you're watching the video, you can pause it. But I have no idea what that said. Bring back the stolen gold to the Nottingham Church. Like I can't see any stolen gold. This part is a little bit confusing. Can't see any stolen gold. There's a few more units up there. Let's um. Let's use our monk that can actually convert. Try a Turk. Let's use him. Grab a champion. Maybe grab another one. I think I have made things pretty easy for myself by um by playing this a little bit smarter than I needed to. I think brute force alone would have worked fine. As yeah, I think if anything our army is actually probably slightly bigger now. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to go and find the farmer who is going to be the person who's going to help us. Um, to locate the stolen gold. I think he might be down here. I definitely remember finding him the first time I played this map. And what we can do is before the end, if it proves to be really easy, we can take on the extra army that I had trouble with last time, because I think it's going to be fairly doable this time. I mean, I haven't really lost any units at all. Let's have a look. He might be down here. I mean, this must lead to something. And I don't want to... don't want to get hit by those wolves, but I guess I can just run straight past. Yeah, that's fine, actually. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's uh, there's a river here, and I remember you cross the river where you should find a farmer. Well, here's the farm anyway, so we should find the farmer pretty soon. Uh, that thing is already dead. The wolf. All right, we only need to bring Robin Hood, I think. So we'll just move those guys along. We'll pick Robin Hood out. It's a longbowman. Robin Hood. Another longbowman. I think they're shuffling around each time I reselect it. Okay, let's just move the whole army there. Right, so this should get us a transport ship, which we then use, uh, I think, on the river to locate the stolen treasure, because I'm pretty sure it's not in Nottingham. It definitely doesn't look like it is. Where is it? Farmer should appear now, I think. There we go. 
Hello Robin Hood, I have a boat you can use, you know, if you want. I'm pretty sure we need to. Uh, 15 spaces, that might actually not be enough. Maybe I'll leave a few things behind... Oh, it's nowhere near enough, okay. Alright, who should I leave behind? Uh, mana Arms, we don't need that, we don't need another Mana Arms. I think we're just gonna get the 15 best units we can, so let's send in another Longbowman. The Monk. Another Longbowman. Okay, I need to let some more out, so let's send out an Archer. Definitely think Friar Tuck needs to be in there. Uh, archers, Scout Cavalry, Mana Arms, another Longbowman. I think that's gonna be more useful than that Mana Arms there. Yeah, that's fine. That should be fine, I think. We need to watch out, because I'm pretty sure there's at least one warship on this map. And since I can't build my own, um, obviously don't want to see the transport ship get too weakened, or we could be screwed. Can't see any sign of it so far, though. Could actually try and convert it. But we seem to be pretty safe so far. Okay. Let's have a little look around. Okay, here we go. So there's an army there, they're not attacking me. Am I neutral to them? No. Okay, that must just be a thing in the Age of Kings. Maybe they don't attack transport ships if they don't have to, but that's a bit weird. Um, should I try and convert them? Is that is that a bit dangerous? I mean, we need to we need to carry these relics back to Friar Tug's village, I think. So this could be a bit dangerous, either that or... We don't have our own monastery, so I'm pretty sure we take them back to Friar Tuck's village. Definitely don't want to risk losing one, though. I think we'll just unload. I think it's fine. There we go. That should be fine. Oh, we've got a couple of uh, a couple of new monks, too. That's That's fairly convenient. Got him. Okay. Well, that was fairly easy. Uh, there's three relics I can see. There might be a fourth relic tucked behind the uh, the accursed tower, which I appear to have claimed for myself, which is nice. Uh, I've got the hand cannon here too. I think we should actually be able to take that fight with the extra army. Can you convert this? No. Okay. All right. So some of these units are inevitably going to have to be left behind because we only have 15 spaces. Let me check. Are there any monks left? I'm just gonna make absolutely sure that there is no. There's a monk without a relic. I just wanna absolutely check there's no extra relics back there, which doesn't look like there is. So that's fine. We'll get everyone in to the transport ship. Everyone we can. We'll leave behind the long swordsman. And champions will put in. Arbalest and put in. Alright, that's the best we can do. I don't think I lost any units, or I might have lost one unit because... No, we haven't, because I, I converted the Hank and the Nier and that was it, so we didn't lose a single unit there. Okay. <laughs> so this is proving to be pretty easy so far. Um, let's let out the Scout Cavalry. Put the Hank and the Nier in instead. And I think we'll go and drop them off back here where they should be able to reunite with the rest of the army, and possibly I can send the transport ship for these guys just in case they turn out to be useful, but I, I don't think they matter too much. Transport ship nearly back. Farmer there. I wonder if I can convert him. I don't want to mess around because some of the triggers on this uh, on this map are a bit harsh, like if you try and enter the cheat codes, it, it will potentially kill you. It doesn't with some of them, like if you type in Robin Hood, I remember someone, someone mentioned this in the comments, type in Robin Hood it just says naughty naughty shouldn't cheat and it doesn't work, so that's interesting. Um, that's the wrong way around. Let's unload this. Right, so we've got three relics. Uh, oh, there's a champion there. Okay. Must have just been a scout, but uh, I assume it's someone we didn't kill back at Nottingham. That's what I assume is the case. I'm curious if it's going to let the, the yellow army out now that we've basically reached the end stages of the map. It seems like uh, they might do that just to make a little bit more of a challenge. We'll send the transport ship back to get the rest of the army. Looks like my army is making its own way through here. Let's uh, let's try and convert this champion. Yeah, okay. I'm getting just stronger and stronger by the looks of it, so I think we will definitely go and take on that army. Yeah, I mean, obviously this map is, like, not the best. I just wanted to try a, a map completely at random, just, um, just to see what kind of thing is on offer. 
But I think it's a bit more interesting playing these handcrafted scenario maps compared to just doing random maps and stuff like that. Uh, right. You guys can go along too. And the rest of our army will follow up in the back. But yeah, so it's quite a funny website because so many of the maps are from like the early 2000s, maybe even the late 90s. Uh, I think mostly from the early 2000s. And you get all these funny comments, like people complaining about the, the file sizes being like 7 megabytes, saying this is too big, it took me ages to download this, which just seems really weird by modern standards because it's, it's just not a big file at all anymore. And like, there's some other like weird cultural things to do with that website and the kind of people who used to play Age of Empires 2. Did I leave a unit behind? What is this? Oh, it's just the flag of the Palisade Wall. Yeah, there's some other weird things going on, like loads of people tend to put um, backing tracks onto their maps for some reason, like custom backing traps, uh, tracks, which obviously I can't use because um, I would get screwed over by YouTube's content ID system, but some of them are just really random, like I saw this one map where the guy's like, oh if you want to you can, you can download this backing track, and it, it was literally just Metallica, nothing else matters by Metallica. Not, and it was like 96 kilobytes per second, like a really low bitrate, nothing else matters by Metallica. Which has absolutely nothing to do with this game, and I, d I don't really see how it fits the game either. Um, but uh, And it's also probably quite illegal to be honest. Um, but he left some comment like, If you like the music, then make sure you go and buy the CD, because it, it sounds so much better in 128 kilobytes per second than it does in 96 kilobytes per second. And like, 128 kilobytes per second, if you don't know about audio, it's like, it's like the bare minimum. Actually, I think, I think it's the, it's the file size I actually export my commentary at, but <laughs> it's still pretty much the bare minimum for music. Let's carry on down. But yeah, there's all kind of funny things like that, I find it really interesting, that website in general, it's, it's like a time capsule. Just seeing all these weird things that happened in the much earlier days of the internet, and the much earlier ga uh, days of this game in general. What kind of things people did? I guess when people had dial-up internet, which is obviously the reason that it took people so long to download a, a 7 megabyte file, when people had that, they probably didn't really ever play multiplayer, so these these kind of really old single-player scenarios were probably the, the main way to to interact with the Age of Empires community, so that's pretty interesting. Um, we're getting there, I think. I think I will actually take this fight. I'm conscious of the fact that we've not really been challenged so far. And last time I took this fight, I ended up losing. I, I won the fight, though. I think we should be fine to take this fight. I definitely played it cautiously, and I don't think there was any need to. I think I think the map is kind of set up so that it's pretty hard to lose unless you make the mistake of stumbling into this area before you've built up an army. Uh, right, let's send the scout cavalry forward and see what happens. It's a bad idea to go down here. It leads to the sheriff's army. Well, the sheriff is dead, so I'm not too worried about his army. And I think, yeah, they should now be able to come out from this gate here. They wouldn't have done so before because they would have been blocked, but now I think they should be able to. There we go. Yeah, scout's coming already. And I believe the rest of the army should be following them on pretty soon. Um, let's actually try and convert these if we can. Who's the free monk? Where is the free monk? Have we got a free monk? There he is, but it's too late. Basically killed them already. Um, any more units coming? We could actually go and just take the whole thing on, send the monks back to here, just for safety. Ah, uh, this monk, probably don't need him. There we go, there's more units coming out now. I think what he should do is he should come out with an army. Let's see if we can sneak through this gate, see what's on offer. I'm gonna lose one scout here. I don't think I can conveniently take out this watchtower. I will send everyone to take on the gate. Just play it like CBA, take out the gates with melee. Uh, where's the monk? Right. That's an easy convert. You guys have take the, the watchtower? Yes, they can. Let's take that out first. Uh, did we convert him? Has he? Oh, he's run off. He got away. Okay. Interesting. Uh, right. So that's gonna go down. I don't think we can get through there, though. 244 left. Yeah, I actually do remember the Age of Kings, like, back before the Conqueror's expansion. Some of the some of the things about it are actually kind of horrible. Oh, I don't want to lose this. Uh, too late. 
Uh, some of the things about the, the Age of Kings are, are kind of horrible in hindsight. Like, when you build a mining camp, your villagers don't automatically go and uh, gather resources, so... It's just like a really small quality of life thing. What the hell? Oh, we can't go through. Okay, screw this then. Okay. So the AI's just not doing anything now, but last time they sent all this out um, towards this kind of town back here, and it kind of screwed me over a bit. As long as I don't lose Robin Hood, I think we should be fine. Yeah, but as you can see, this is quite a big army, and it's um, it's about as much of a challenge as Nottingham itself was. So to have fought this army, and then to actually potentially not winning this fight... Potentially... Oh, yeah, the Arbalests. I think we should be fine just because we have Robin Hood, but even so, it's, um, it is quite a challenge. They're all attacking the house, that's definitely not what we want. Yeah, having fought this army first, and I did win that fight, uh, where's well, Robin Hood, as long as he's not the one dying, I don't really care. Is that everything? I probably don't want to go baiting out anymore, because, uh, I'm already in trouble. Robin Hood, yeah, he's the one in full health, so that's fine. Let's bring all these back to the main town. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of the scenario, so... Yeah, just something interesting, something a bit different for the channel. I think I will start doing things like this a little bit more often, because... I just find it really interesting to look back at all this, like, historical Age of Empires content. And they're all handmade as well. Some of these maps I think are considered, like, real masterpieces. What do I do? Do I bring it back to the monastery? I guess I do. Yeah, some of these maps are considered, like, borderline masterpieces. Um, and I would like to try some of those out. There's a lot of these uh, these RPG-style maps, which I always found pretty fun back in the day. But I've not been able to find so many of them on, uh, on HD version. This is an HD version, by the way. I don't think this, this, uh, this map will work with HD version. All relics have been captured. You will lose if they are held for 2,000 years. Are you kidding me? Oh, the Nottingham Church. Oh, no. Oh, no. I've done it so wrong. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I put them in the, oh, the Nottingham church, where's the, oh god, they were right there the whole time, okay. Alright, so I've taken over Nottingham. Oh, I might have to redo this, god damn it, okay. Alright, I'll catch up with you guys when I figure this out. Alright, so I've just replayed the entire map, um, thanks to my own lack of reading comprehension, and uh, it's been a bit of a struggle this time because I lost three of the monks, including Friar Tuck himself, who is dead. I think he died um, over here a while ago, and yeah, there is a war galley, I knew there would be one somewhere. So let's return it to the, uh, the right church this time, with our one remaining monk. And actually, I managed to take the Nottingham fight without even using any of the mercenaries from this area. I was still waiting for them to get here when I took that fight, and uh, I did manage to win it. But I think... Let's see what happens. Nothing yet. I think we need to get all three relics, so that's going to take a little while longer. I think that uh, you can do this scenario pretty easily if you just do it the normal way. But if you if you were to go out of your way to take that fight with the, with the yellow extra army, I think that's what kind of adds a sense of challenge to this map. I think another thing that would be a challenge that might still be the case to be fair, but it would be good is if you, um, when you complete this next objective to deposit the relics into the monastery, something that would be pretty cool would, if, it would be if there's some kind of like last stand or something where the remnants of the, the sheriff's men suddenly appear in the surrounding forest and come to, to take you out, but, you know, I think the maps, you know, it's fine, it's not meant to be a particularly fleshed out map, I think. So I've still got to go all the way back to get this relic, um, and then hopefully, hopefully then the scenario will be over. We'll see. Send this monk in. And we still need one more. I'm, I'm worried this is the exact same thing is going to happen, that it's not going to trigger. And uh, I'm just going to end up losing a wonder victory to the green player. Because I couldn't kill that teal church, it wouldn't let me, because every time I turned him to enemy, it turned him straight back to ally, like, instantly. So, it was literally impossible for me to do anything about that situation we were in before. I literally just had to restart the map. It's the only thing I could do. Anyway, let's uh, wait for this monk to get back to the church and see what happens. Alright, so the monk has finally returned with the final relic. I'm hoping this trigger is going to work properly or we could be absolutely screwed here. Um, 
I found this castle of King Richard's. I don't think it does anything, but it's just to the east of Nottingham. I, I sent Robin Hood right up to it to see if it would activate a trigger of some kind, but it looks like it's just there as a, as a kind of decoration or something. About to deposit the final relic, which may just end the scenario. I think it will, because it's, it's all I can see left in the objectives. Let's see... Hello Robin and welcome to my castle. I'm back from the Crusades and I'm proud of what you achieved while I was away. Please come to my castle this evening and we can celebrate. Oh, I'm here. Okay, so it's not just a, it's not just a decoration then. Uh, I'm at your castle. Hello? Maybe I came too early? When is it the evening? <laughs> there we go. Alright, okay. So there was a trigger there, it's not just a, it's not just a decoration, it does actually have some kind of function. King Richard climbs up the stairs to the castle's main stage. You stand still as he reads out your achievements and your heroism. Damn, this will look good on my resume, you think. Maid Marion smiles at you from her table and you wink back. Life is looking good. You bow down before King Richard and he places his sword on both shoulders before declaring, I pronounce you Sir Robin of Loxley. Applause fills your ears as you embark on the biggest ego trip of your life since you won a Kanga cricket game when you were seven by batting first and then hiding all the balls. Congratulations, you won. Okay. So that was the fabulous and fun adventures of Robin Hood, just a strange little custom-made scenario that I chose from random, uh, at random, from a sea of hundreds and hundreds of custom maps on that website. So I think that's pretty interesting. I think it's going to be quite interesting just to explore uh, more maps like this and see what the community has made in the past of this game. I think there's going to be a lot of interesting maps that have probably never been played in years. I'm pretty sure I will have been the first person to play this map in at least a few years, I would think. So it's just a, it's just an interesting thing, I think, and I would like to explore it some more in future. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.